Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? It's your girl Virgo, which got us in the building on this hump day, Wednesday morning time. Now it's about 5.15 a.m. And, uh, you know, I'm about to get into this general uh, reading for the sign of Virgo, okay? So for all of those who are subscribed to my channel, if it's your first time subscribing, thank you so much for subscribing. I truly do appreciate it, and I do appreciate your support. And as always, feel free to invite another uh, person, you know, another friend to join this channel as well, okay? And I know you guys are always saying, well, how come, you know, you don't do more readings on the regular like you used to? Because, you know, I try to, you know, I try to take a break. You feel me, Virgo? And so I try to basically wait and let things, you know, roll off and let them, you know, just let, let things, you know, happen accordingly. You know, that's my other phone. I got another message coming in. But anyway, but like I'm saying, Virgo, for some of you, okay, so I'm, I'm going to basically try to give you all the message of what I'm receiving. Because like I said, this is a general reading. So take it how it resonates. It may not resonate for everyone, okay? Because it's like over 4,000 of you are Virgos here, you know? And so um, let's kind of jump into this reading, okay? Like I said, today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. So this basically is going to be your reading for the end of July, okay? Going into August. So what I'm picking up on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to like give it to you how I feel it, okay? So what I'm picking up on my Virgos is that basically Virgos, um, with this Two of Cups, you got somebody who's attracted to you, who's wanting to come rushing into you with this Knight of Wands and make you an offer with this Page of Wands. And they can be popular. This person's uh, going to try to see if they can lure you in with some type of generosity, wanting to make some type of nice, uh, you know, trying to be kind want to come you know bringing you a little offer or something little gift to try to like you know maybe flowers perhaps you know what i'm saying to try to persuade you and tempt you because for some of you with the seven of cups this person sees you at a top option where this person has options but right now they kind of stuck on you as a main option okay and so it could be for some of you this person is wanting to come in and have some sort of beginning with you where this person is wanting to reach out and call you but they trying to resist the verge of uh, you know trying to resist the urge of calling you or texting you with this judgment card because for some of you this person's where they stabbed you in the back in the past with this tennis wars and so they know they kept you up every day night and for some of you you was dealing with a past lover okay and so um right now this person is aware that with the six of pentacles that in the past they was given more to one person and less to you okay but right now this person uh views them as being out in the cold where they feel losing you and so some of you could have ended things with this person with this death card because of how this person treated you in the past and so you kind of got yourself unstuck from this person with this two of swords okay but in the past okay you might have been this person's sidebar you know what i'm saying because you got this emperor card so basically what that tells me is that this emperor is already married with the family with this ten of pentacles okay and so in the past you with this person's side okay but this person is married and already has a family with this ten of pentacles okay and so the reason why you got yourself unstuck from this situation with this two of swords is because the situation between you and this person was toxic with the devil card okay and so with the ten of wands is like you had no choice but to release the burden okay and so it could be where this person kind of feels stuck to you and it's like for some of you in the past, you could have been, you know, you could have felt as though you wasn't trapped by this person, but right now you're not. But for right now, this person views themselves as being stuck to you. You understand what I'm saying? And so for some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a hyphen, where this person is going within spirit and trying to figure some things out, you know, seeking answers from a higher power, where this person could be, you know, going on YouTube, trying to see what's going on, that sort of thing. And so, um, basically, this person is wanting to manifest you in, okay, with this magician card. And this person is wanting to see if they can seek some sort of balance with you with this justice card because this person views you as a wish fulfillment with this star card, okay? And so this person is wanting to come in and take a leap of faith with you with this fool card, okay? But 
for some of my Virgos, you are on hermit mode right now. So for some of you, you may not really feel like being bothered by this person. But this person is like wanting to surrender the situation of the past. And they want to let the past be bygones. You know what I'm saying? Where this person is like really wanting to kind of come in and have some sort of a celebration with you. Okay? And... You know, and it's like, but right now, and it could be this person is trying to use logic when it comes to trying to figure out what they can do, okay, with like this person is waiting for their ships to come in, okay, because this person is hoping to have um some sort of, um you know, wanting to be successful when it comes to, you know, coming to you and wanting to have this new beginning with you, right? This person is hoping, at least this person is hoping to have a successful new beginning with you, okay? And so right now, it's like, even though this person has options, with this four of cups it's like right now you are their only option i mean that's how they view you it's like you're their main option that's on their mind they can't get you up their mind okay and so for some of you it could be that this person's working on some sort of project okay with this three of pentacles okay where they trying to get the you know their coins in the row the ducks in the row and so um this person views the situation between you and them as you know you are exactly what they need and so right now it could be that things are kind of drying up at home where they're not happy with their significant other and so for some of you this person could be going through some type of birth to change at home where uh things are not really going as smoothly as what you know they thought they was going to go or they, like i said they had other options and so it's possible that they broke up with their other option and the other option put them out you know what i'm saying or the other option dumped them okay and so um right now with this two of wands it's like this person is waiting you know waiting for the right moment to try to approach you this person is waiting for the right you know the right time to approach you they try to figure out what to say to you and for some this person with this two of pentacles this person is trying to like you know choose between which option or this person could be going through a situation when it comes to um choosing between you know like jobs or you know or they might be choosing like i said which one is the best option between you and another individual and so right now this person you know is like wanting to come in because like in the past with this um it's like with this five of cups the person kind of sees you um see the situation between you and them as being a bit hopeless okay well this person could be a bit down okay because in the past this person kept secrets okay with this moon card okay and so in the past there was a lot of conflict a lot of disagreement a lot of tit for tat you know going back and forth between you and this person and other individuals who stuck their nose in your business people were talking about you and gossiping the people that want to see y'all together so people came between you try to break you up and so it could be that right now but it's four pentacles this person is holding on a bit too tight to you not ready to release you or let go just yet and so it could be that this person is going through some type of karma on their own with this wheel of fortune when it comes to you okay because in the past like i said this person could have been a bit deceitful where they saw the situation as a challenge because not only was they seeing you but they were sleeping with other people okay and so what i'm picking up virgo from this situation is that um you know, with this seven of wands, this person sees you as uh, being a bit defensive. You know what I'm saying? And so because of the situation in the past. And so um, with this four of swords, this person is trying to like take time to go up in and heal and trying to figure out, you know, what they can do. OK, because this person knows with this queen of cups that you are a bit intuitive. OK, and so it's like this person, right? It's like with this king of swords, you could be dealing with somebody who's a bit stubborn, okay? Where this person is not one to normally come in and apologize for their wrongdoing and say they sorry, okay? And so what I'm picking up on in this situation, Virgo, is that many of you are dealing with somebody who wants to come in and have a ten of cups with you, okay? Where, um... You're being a high priest, so this person knows that you're very intuitive, okay? And this person is also aware with this eight of wands that you kind of like, you know, um, you kind of got your back turned because you got this eight of cups and this eight of wands, okay? Eight of cups, you got your back turned to the situation, seeking new journeys, connection elsewhere, because you just ain't got time to entertain it. You know what I'm saying? The shit done got old. You're not really interested because in the past, this person didn't want to commit to you. You know what I'm saying? This person could be a distance from you. So now this person's wanting to come in from a distance from where they are and kind of like right they wrong because they know that they wasn't wanting to commit because of the bullshit, right? And so with this world card, like I said, this person's holding on 
to you because this person views you as the nine of pentacles right and so right now it's like with this ace of uh, swords you're really not trying to fuck with them like that because in the past this person broke your heart and kept you in a three party situation where with the temperance card shit you know blew apart it fell out of you know things blew out of proportion it fell apart right and so now with this four of wands this person is feeling a bit intimidated by you you know intimidated by wanting to cross your path because in the past this person came with just using you and taking what they wanted you know they come in and they you know get what they want and they leave and so because of that situation you packed up and left you took your shit and you left okay because like you know in the past this person stabbed you in the back and now that you finally are healed up and you're cool it's like you're pulling your energy back now with this nine of wands and so it's like this person views you now as a queen of pentacles right and this person is wanting to come in and be your king of cups okay but it's like this person knows that in order to come your way, they're going to have a lot of making up to do. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to prove themselves where they know actions speak loud in the words and they can't just come in and tell you basically what you want to hear because they know you're not going to fall for the okie dokie like you used to. So now they're going to have to come up with some new shit because like you got your own damn alcohol. So, you know, you really don't need them bringing you a fucking bottle of wine. You already got your shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and this person is like trying to figure some shit out because they know you fine. You stay but you really don't fucking need them you know what i'm saying so you know you're not chasing them you're not calling them you're not texting them you're not blowing up you don't give a fuck whether they reach out or they don't you know and so it's a whole new ball game now because you basically got your strength back you know healed up from the situation and so really it's like you know it ain't shit to really talk about because what's been done has been done you know and, and it don't nothing really need to be said you understand what i'm saying so it's like you know you on this whole new thing now you know, and this person is going to really have to come correct because, like, you know, they got options and you got options, too. You know what I'm saying? And so they scared now that somebody else is going to come through and pull up and kind of swoop you away from them. And they really don't want you out here doing your own thing. But they know that, you know, this is your season and shit's about to get good. And so, you know, now they in their feelings. You feel me? So, you know, this person might be getting ready to pop up at your door, you know, this weekend. You probably get ready to hear from this person real soon, you know, but this person don't even know what to say to you because they know they fucked up so bad. You know what I'm saying? That they know actions speak louder than words. So they really just trying to figure that shit out. Meanwhile, you just doing you. You really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Rocco, this is your reading. You know, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know, like I said. If it resonated, it resonates, but this is your reading. You feel me? So as always, one love and God bless Virgo. I'm out.